Hi there, it's me, Grandma Lily, and I am here for story time with Grandma Lily. So, um, I told you yesterday that I was going to read you a very special book today about a mouse and a cookie. But because that's not a very long book, I'm actually going to read two stories today. One of them you might have heard of, the mouse and the cookie one. The other one I think is going to be new for you. So then, today is Wednesday, and I hope that you all had a wonderful day. Uh, hello to Elijah, Jordan, and Kylie, my babies. I love you and I miss you. Hi to Serenity. And to all of my family, I miss you all, and I can't wait until we can be together again. Um, so, today we are going to read two books, and the first one we are going to read is called... If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. This book came out, I think, when my little boys, when, when my first little boy was a baby. Let me look and see. Uh, 1985, so it was actually four years before my older son was born. How do you like that? So this book is 35 years old today, or this year. So we're gonna start with If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, and then we're gonna to go to our surprise book. If You Give a Mouse a Cookie is written by Laura Joffe Numeroff, and the pictures, the illustrations, are by Felicia Bond. So let's see. Oh, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. There's the mouse, looks like he's taking a trip, that little mouse. And here it looks like there's a little boy sitting here looking at a comic book. And it looks like he's got a bag of cookies. If you give a mouse a cookie by Laura Joffe Numeroff with illustrations by Felicia Bond. For Florence and William Numeroff, the two best parents anyone could ever possibly want. That's by the writer. Isn't that nice that the writer acknowledged their parents? And the illustrator has dedicated this book for Stephen. So, here's the mouse and here's the little boy on the rock. If you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him the milk, Little boy went in and he got him the milk. He'll probably ask you for a straw. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. Awfully big glass of milk for a little mouse. That his belly feels pretty full. Then he'll want to look in a mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. When he looks into the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors because he's a little mouse. So he just needs a little tiny pair of scissors. Like the kind maybe that your moms and dads use when they clip your nails or cut your nails from you. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he's, he'll want a broom to sweep up. He'll start sweeping. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. That would be nice if he would come to my house and sweep every room in my house. He may even end up washing the floors as well. When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and fluff the pillow a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. It looks like everything that this mouse is doing, he's leaving a mess behind him that this little boy has to clean up. So you'll read to him from one of your books and he'll ask to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited that he'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. He'll draw a picture. Wow, those are some big crayons, or is that a little mouse? 
Kind of hard to draw with crayons that big. When the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name. Wow, that's a pretty impressive picture for a little mouse and big crayons with a pen. So you'll have to give him a pen. Then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator, which means he'll need, I don't know, but whatever he needs, this boy just keeps picking up after him. Scotch tape. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that. He's thirsty. So, if there's a little boy is now asleep. He'll ask for a glass of milk. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, He's going to want a cookie to go with it. And there's the little boy fast asleep with a mess all around him while the mouse looks for his cookie. And that is if you give a mouse a cookie. Now I know that there are other books by this same author. I'm pretty sure there's a, if you give a moose a muffin um, and there are a couple of others. So if you can find them, I bet it'd be a lot of fun to read them. But that was not a very long book, was it? No, so we have a second book today. And that is because I bought a book and I did not realize when I bought it that it was actually a board book. It's not, it doesn't have a lot of pages. So it's really not a good board a book for story time with Grandma Lily. but it's a great story. So it's a great book to finish up the evening, right? Right, okay. So this book is called A Day with Nellie. And it's by Martha Jocelyn. So, and this, it looks like, I guess this is Nellie. So let's see what happens. Good morning, Nellie. When Nellie wakes up, the blankets are every which way. She's ready to start her day. Ooh, she looks pretty excited there. What will Nellie wear today? It's breakfast time. What will Nellie eat? So let's see. I like eggs and I like bacon. Ooh, cold apple juice, orange juice, crispy Cheerios it looks like. That looks like toast actually. An egg. And what will Nellie wear? Look at all these clothes. I don't know, I kind of like that dress. But these are some pretty cool pants, too. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Nellie says hello to her friends. Blanky. Do you have a blanky? I bet you do. Bunny twins. Nellie in the mirror. And Kiki Monkey. Nellie plays indoor games all morning, dancing in Daddy's shoes, <clears throat> blowing bubbles out the window. Nellie gets tired, then she gets cranky, then she gets stubborn, then she gets mad. Nellie takes a nap. When I'm tired, I get cranky and stubborn, and sometimes I even get mad. So I take a nap, and when I wake up, I feel so much better. All smiles again. Lunch is a picnic outdoors. Can't wait till we can do that again. Nellie plays teacher. Do you like to play teacher with your friends or your brothers and sisters where you get to, to learn things? I bet you're doing a lot of that now, aren't you? Dirt plus water makes Nellie muddy. I bet you like to play in the mud too. When I was little, I used to like to jump in puddles with my boots on. Soap plus water makes Nellie clean. Nellie takes a bath. 
Afternoon turns to evening. Now it's supper time. Nellie has noodles again. Oh, spaghetti, noodles, or any kind of noodles I like. Do you like noodles? I love noodles. It's nearly night. Nellie has a story and a snuggle with daddy. Time for bed. Tomorrow is only a sleep away. Sweet dreams, Nellie. And Nellie and Kiki Monkey go to sleep. So this is a book that you would give to babies because they can, they can bend it and they can play with it, but it's still an interesting story. So I thought I would include it today. Um, I do have some other stories about a little rabbit called Peter Rabbit. And we might be learning about Peter Rabbit and, and Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail. But that's it for today. Tomorrow we will hear another story. So for now, Grandma Lily says goodbye. I love you. Have a good evening. Mwah.